Hey guys, Fatmox here from Game On Your Face. I got another player review for you guys. Today we're going to be looking at Rookie of the Year, Sean Monahan. The rules are the same as always. You will play on the first line for 5 games and will not be assigned any boost or a change team card. The overall grade of the player is based on 4 stats. Skating, shooting, puck skills, and physical. Now, if you don't know, I am a die-hard Flames fan. That being said, I will try to keep this review as unbiased as possible. With his current average price at 45k, he is in the same price range as Movember Couture and regular Gets Laugh. In the 5 games I played with Monaghan, he got 4 points, all of which were assists. He is definitely the best passer out of all Rookie of the Year players that I have used. Easily comparable to Henrik Zetterberg. He has no problem going tape to tape through a few sticks or through a few bodies with his great physical ability. At 6'2", 193 pounds, Monaghan is a beast of an 18 year old. He can protect the puck with ease and punish your opponent with monstrous hits. He's what I like to call truculent. However, his shooting and skating are less than mediocre. He is very slow and has a weak and inaccurate shot. I think his closest comparison is Jerome McGinla if you switch McGinla's shooting ability with passing. So let's look at his overall grade. Puck skills. For puck skills, he gets a 6.5. As I said earlier, he is a great passer. However, his poor stick handling and faceoff skills bring down his grade. After three games with Wanahan at center, I had to switch him to the wing because I wasn't confident with his faceoff ability. It was significantly worse than Rookie of the McKinnon. So, if you plan on getting Monahan, then I would suggest you play him on the wing as a playmaking winger like Henrik Zetterberg. Skating. He gets a 5.5. Monahan's skating stats look pretty good at 88, but don't be fooled, his skating is below average. Even at the start of a shift, he seems like he's already fatigued. He feels sluggish most of the time, and if you want him to go fast, it takes a long stretch of ice for him to get going. However, his agility is decent and he is very strong on his skates. Shooting. For shooting, he gets a 6.5. There's really not much to say about his shot. It's very average, the same shot you would expect from any 84 overall player. It's not very powerful and his accuracy is 50-50. Physical. Physical, he gets a 7.5. This is Monaghan's best attribute. He's very strong in the puck and is a pretty good checker. He's a great guy to win battles in the corners or to place in front of the net on the PP. I don't expect him to be as powerful as Lucic, but he can definitely play with the big boys. So, Monaghan's overall grade is 6.5 out of 10, or 65%. That's a C. If we compare him to Rookie of the Year McKinnon, then we can see that he is just under him by 3%. Overall, Monaghan is an average player. His 84 overall holds true over his individual stats. As I said earlier, he is best suited for the wing over his natural centerman position. I would classify him as a playmaking power forward. Imagine a lesser version of David Backus. I would say poor man's Backus, but Monaghan costs four times more. So, if you're looking for a great player to bring offense to your checking line, then Monaghan is your guy. He's strong at the puck and can create opportunities out of nothing. However, if you're looking for someone for your first or second line, then Monaghan is not for you. If you really need him to be a first liner who can compete with guys like Malkin or Getzlaff, then you should consider boosting him because as is, he just isn't good enough. That being said, it's all my opinion based on how I play the game and some of you may disagree. So if you want to add something to this review or if you think I missed something, just tell me in the comments, positive or negative, because my goal is not to sound smart and be right. I'm just trying to help you guys make the best of your hard-earned EA pucks. Mostly hardened. You know who you are. Thanks for watching. Hope it helped and come back tomorrow when I review Rookie of the Year, Chris Kreider. Power play. Fortune rips one. Wardle hold on. Just kidding. He plays it. Gives it right back to Voracek. Oh, what a brutal giveaway. However, Yandel comes back quick with a tough covered cookie. And that's 1-1 one, one game. But Bolt, he walks in. He goes backhand, forehand. And that 